hydrocide is when a community misuses their water source, so they pollute their water source or send it out into the ocean rather than utilizing it. They're basically committing mass suicide because people cannot live where there is no water. Before Cape Town was settled by Europeans, the indigenous people called the city Kamisa, which means the place of sweet waters, due to the fact that it had this beautiful spring water abundantly available. Table Mountain virtually rises out of the ocean to a thousand meters above sea level, and any cold front that's moving in from the ocean hits the mountain and causes the rainfall and that water percolates through the mountain and comes out in the form of springs. The springs of Table Mountain sustained livelihoods and people for centuries. Spring water was used for drinking purposes, it was used for irrigation purposes, it was used for washing. They also became places though where slop buckets were poured, and people threw their rubbish, and they had become polluted sources rather than a, a source of life. During British occupation in the 1860s, there was an outbreak of the bubonic plague. They decided that it was caused by these filthy water sources. And so they created these tunnels that would basically take the water from the mountains straight out into the ocean. And so the water resource was wasted. What had once been the lifeblood of the city, in fact, runs under the city through these tunnels, and we have 8.8 .8 million litres of water flowing through one of these tunnels in the city on a daily basis. Here's a city which was developed according to its natural resources, and they have been discarded to the extent that we are now having to bring water from the food growing region, 64 kilometers away. By 2019, there's going to be a shortage of water in Cape Town. And most people in Cape Town are oblivious to the fact that this water resource exists and exists in abundance. What is required in every part of life? For well, that reason, it's really important that this water be reclaimed as far as possible, and it is possible. This water belongs to each and every one of us, and it is important that we reconnect with this resource so that we can survive in the future, not only as a city, but also as a community. Sudarimor!